Hey guys and welcome back. This is going to be a full Victoria Beckham New York Fashion Week get a look. I just really wanted to put this together. The amount of people that were mentioning like where did you get her jeans from? Where are shoes from? Where's the top from? What's she wearing on her lips? Etc etc. And to be honest I was really intrigued as well. The majority of her makeup was from the new VB Estee Lauder line which is why I was in New York in the first place. So I went across with those guys to meet Victoria, to have a little mini interview with her, to watch the show. It was like the most dreamy trip ever. Just a disclaimer by the way, this video isn't sponsored, they haven't asked me to do it, I just really really wanted to put this together. I just thought it'd be quite fun to do and I've never really done anything like this before. So this is a full Victoria Beckham get the look from makeup to hair to the full outfit. Obviously I'm blonde and it doesn't look quite the same as with a gorgeous brunette and dark eyebrows and all that kind of thing. But this is my interpretation. I don't know exactly what she was using on her face. All I know is that it was VB Estee Lauder. So that's exactly what I've used and I've kind of interpreted it my way. Oh, and if you do want to see a bit more behind the scenes and also some pictures from the show, that's all over on my blog already in thefro.com. So let's have a little peek at that if you would like to see a little bit more. But if you'd like to see this whole VB look as well as her outfit and how I interpret it, then continue watching. Okay, so starting off with a like super moisturised base because Victoria had really glowy, radiant skin on this day. And I think it's down to a very, very good skincare routine. Which, to be honest, I also really like to try and use a really, really good skincare routine. I've just used the, um, my favourites right now, the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Eye Gel Cream. I'm going to go in with the Chanel Hydra Beauty Micro Cream, which I'm almost out of and it's like my favourite thing ever. But this is uber hydrating it literally soaks into my skin my skin loves it so much feels like a very very lightweight gel has these little beads in it i think they have chamomile in them something like that something absolutely amazing anyway that kind of like pop and add so much moisture but it adds great great base for makeup because now my skin is like really like juicy and moisturized okay Let's kick this off with some VB. So, VB Morning Aura. This is one of the hero products of the initial line and also into this one. So this is the product, gorgeous casing, and this can be used as a moisturiser, primer, illuminator, everything. I like adding it over the top of my moisturiser just because I like that really moisturised, hydrated feel before I add makeup. This just finishes off the skin with so much like luminosity and radiance. It's just like a pick-me-up for the skin in the morning. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's go in with some foundation, shall we? I'm going to give this a go on camera. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. Have not used this yet. I hope this is the correct shade for me, actually. I've got shade Ecru 1N2. I've got a Chanel brush I'm going to use with this. The whole theme of this Victoria Beckham look was that she did look so flawless, but she wasn't caked. Her foundation and her base just looked very, very lightweight, so I don't really want to add absolutely loads here. I want it to still look really fresh and illuminated. I think I'm already preferring this to double wear, that's for sure. Double wear has never been a foundation I've really ever used, and honestly, it's always been a bit too heavy for my skin. It's just never really appealed to me in that way, but this I could definitely get on board with. Yeah, so I don't want to apply too much here. I want to keep it really, really fresh. Like, you know me, I do usually like to add a lot of foundation, but that's looking really glowy and really fresh, and you can see the morning aura sort of kicking out a little bit there. I'm just going to take a beauty blender, just working this into the rest of the skin. Just for concealer, I'm going to go in with just my absolute favourite at all times, pretty much. That's just a tart shape tape. And again, I'm not going to go in like mega heavy, just want to be quite light here. Okay, this is so much better. I wasn't going to risk having that sun going in and out the entire time in this video. So we're on actual artificial light now. Now you can actually see how nice my skin looks with this foundation. It's so hot to get it into the hairline when you've got white hair. Okay, just for lips, I'm going to add some Burt's Bees, just so they can be being nice and prepped. Okay, I'm just going to go onto my phone, just so I can make sure I get the exact right feel on this. Okay, so, I mean, she's got much more hooded lids than I do, but it's all very dark and smoky, and there's a mix of different shades in there. I'm going to start off with this palette first, with the black, and this, it's more of a nudie beige that looks here, but I'm just going to run that all over the eye and also into the crease. It'll give us a really nice nude base. It's actually really nice just alone that, just very neutral. But because this is me, I want to add a little bit of warmth and just a bit of this bronzer. This is in Saffron Sun. I'm add a tiny bit more of that just into the very crease. Just for a touch more warmth. 
but that's because I'm trying to make it wearable for me as well in the way that I often like to do my makeup and I like warm tones so just a touch more warmth through there so on the actual eye I could use the black out of this palette but I want to use this quad palette in a way I'm kind of trying to show you a few different products as well as we go along almost so I can kind of review them for you and show you what I'm liking as I'm going through so although this is, isn't going to be absolutely perfect as to what she used I didn't ask her personally the exact amount of products and it's going to be a range of these anyway because she was definitely wearing all her own products I'm just going to use a flat brush. I'm just going to start working a little bit of this black into the lash line and also just over the lid up to that crease and I'm literally just patting it with what I already have on the brush. I'm not trying to build this up to be too heavy because it wasn't really really heavy her eye makeup but I am going to intensify this colour a little and just building up the base at this point. Going in with a touch more of the black closer to this lash line. I'm trying to get a bit of a gradient from dark here to a little lighter up at the top. I'm just going back to my neutral shade again, just blending that out. Okay, that's perfect. It's quite dark, but also not too dark that we can't do anything else above it, which is what I'm going to be going for. Again, I'm just going to blend out that top edge. Now, this is a bit that I absolutely love. This product is called Bitter Clove, and it's like a, it's a very deep bronze that I feel has almost like green gold flecks in there, almost. It's so so beautiful and she definitely had this on her lids so that's why I wanted to add the black so that then I'm going to add this on the top and it'll just look even more intensive over the black this is just going to kind of go everywhere just smoked out everywhere and this is just pulling everything together that we've done beneath it but we'll just add a bit more dimension oh, that bit of clove is so beautiful isn't it I'm just going to go into the white of the quad palette and just dab it into my inner corners. Now Victoria does really like eyeliner and there are three different ones in this collection. There's a brown, there's a blue and there's also a black. This one I'm using is the brown which is called Java and we're going to add it to the lash line. These are unbelievably creamy. Some of the creamiest eyeliners I've possibly ever used. Take a brush and go along this just to smoke it out into that bit of clove. So I'm sort of pushing it upwards and then winging any excess there as well. Do you know what? I did think this was going to be slightly more dark brown. It's much more sort of ready toned brown, so I'm going to go over with the black. It's all good. We can just go over it with a bit of black and it'll be absolutely fine. You know, I actually really like that, but it wasn't quite what she was wearing. And I don't want it to be too prominent, so I'm just going to go back into my bit of clove and go over the top of that as well. Just to help us smudge it all out and also cover up a little bit of the black. I love that. That looks really great now. It just makes it look a little bit more intensive towards the upper lash line now. Okay, I know what I'm going to be wearing now over autumn all the time. I love this. Do you know what? I've not worn eyeliner in so long. Like, if you used to watch my channel a while back, like when I first started, I would wear winged liner every single day. And now I just don't wear eyeliner at all. <laughs> yeah, and just finish that off with the bitter clove over the top. And just keep brushing that upwards. Okay, I absolutely love it. I love it. Let's just clear this up a little bit before we add some under eye. I'm just going to use a little bit of the NARS, as always. A little bit more coverage underneath to really perfect that. So I'm going to move into bronzer first of all on this Real Techniques brush. But she definitely had a lovely bronzed glow around the edges of her face and on her cheeks. This is a gorgeous bronzer actually. I'm just using a smaller brush at first just to get a little more definition on where I would usually contour. Okay, and when that's all sorted, I'm just gonna go in with a bigger brush and do my neck and a little more over where I've been just to enhance all that a little more. I don't really want it to look too contoury. I want it to just look like bronze skin really, overall. Over the nose a little. Now, on the cheeks, this is so beautiful. It's a cheek cream in Blonde Mink. I'm just going to use that on a stippling brush. And Victoria said that she likes to apply it a little higher on the cheeks, just to lift them a little. So that's what I'm going to do. And you could see that she had done this. It looked really, really great, actually. I never thought to do it a little higher on the cheeks, but it does lift them. So that's a lovely glow there to the cheeks. I love that. Now, highlight... This is a modern mercury highlighter. God, I've got purple everywhere off of the other brush. 
This is a modern Mercury highlighter and it's absolutely stunning. So I can't not use this. I don't think she was using too much highlight, but I can't not use this for this routine. So I'm going to add a little bit. The main reason I didn't want to add too much highlight is because I know she was using the Aura Gloss, which she totally swears by and has now become one of my favourites too. This is in Honey, I think. Honey. So it's like a gold gel, but you can't really see the gold on the actual skin. But she just likes to pat it onto the high points of the face, which is why I didn't want to add too much. I wanted this to kind of be the centre stage, really. So I love adding it there, a bit to here, onto the lids a little to give them a little more shine. She also likes to add it to the lips as a balm, and it's quite a nice base for lipstick as well. And then this side. So now we are super, super glowy. I'm going to add one of her favourite products. This is a skin perfecting powder. Isn't this just absolutely beautiful? It's a stunning case. And then you've got the powder inside, and it really is gorgeous. I'm just going to add this where I just want to conceal a little bit of my pores. Set to my under eye. It's so light. Mm. Gorgeous. Do you know what? I'm too excited to do the lips. I'm going to do the lip first and finish off the eyes. I just want to make this a little bit more nude because I've got a really flat base to start this with. I'm going to use the Victoria Lip Liner, which is one of her favourites. Just to give that some shape. It's very lightly, so I'm just rubbing it in. I don't want it to be too much. Personally, I really like wearing liners like this when you can blend it in and it's there, but it's not really obvious. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of the burnished rose, just the very centre, very, very lightly. That's just for a tiny, tiny splash of pink. I love these lipsticks, there's three in the collection. And then there are two lip glosses in this collection. We've got the more clear gloss. It's almost like a golden pearl essence in there. And a beautiful nude gloss. I'm gonna go for the clear, because I wanna kind of keep this colour but make it glossy. So all that's left really is, I just need to do this under eye. And today that, I'm just going to go back to the Noir and Vanille eye palette, because this is lovely and matte, and I'm just going to take it underneath. You can also just do it with liner, and I'm just going to take the brush that I had the liner on, a little bit of that. I mean, I never really look good with this kind of eye, it always looks too heavy on me, but it's just her statement look, isn't it? So it's nice and smoky. Okay, mascara. She has a lovely new mascara. Barely any kind of friction when you pull this out. And the idea is that it has loads and loads of product on there. So you can really paint it onto the lashes. This brush is great. This is the first time I'm trying this mascara. And I don't think I've tried anything like this. It's such a thin brush. And it's gripping onto every single one of my lashes. Oh my gosh, I really, really like this. Okay, and all that's left to do is my eyebrows, so I'll be right back. Okay, done. Face complete. Love this eye makeup look overall, especially with this kind of smoked out liner to the top that's smoked into the bitter clove. It looks, looks so pretty. Very pleased, and I think I've almost kind of got there. Obviously, I didn't know the exact products that she used because I didn't ask her, but this is just kind of like my interpretation of what she did with her own products, so I kind of hope you liked it. So, with the makeup done, I'm going to move on to doing the hair and also the outfit. I'm going to put on the white t-shirt now just so I can do the hair without ruining it by then putting on the white t-shirt. Yeah, let's get into her hair and makeup. Okay, so she had a bit of a middle part and thing going on. No, bear in mind, her hair was here. She just had it cut into the cutest little bob, which I would love to have at some point. It almost looked like she kind of was had it like a bit like this, and then it was over here, and it was just all very, it's a bit messy and up and cool. She had these cute little bits coming out. So I'm just kind of like playing with it really here. And it was in a very sweet low bun. Now she will have done this all using pins. Because I doubt she will have been able to get her hair into a little bun otherwise. So I'm just going to just keep twisting my hair. And then just wrapping it. Just get the overall bun shape. And tie it with a hairband. Just so we've got a bun shape. And then I'm going to go in with pins. And just start pinning this down into a much better shape but it was still also a little messy a little bit it's like wispy bits coming out because obviously she has short hair okay cool right now it was much more messy on top so i'm just going to try and like pull out some bits i'm going to use a little bit of spray just to mess this up a little more it was just sort of really 
easily done, you know. It's not like she'd almost like thrown it up herself, but obviously she will have had someone do it for her, but or I think so. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that worked. I feel like it was kind of exactly like how she had it. Do you know what? I'm still not happy with this lip. It's still looking at her now. She does look like she's got a little bit more nude than this. All I'm doing is adding a tiny smidge of concealer into that gloss. Just to cool it a little bit. That's better. She definitely on that picture has like an orangey tone to her lips. Orangey nude. And that is this. Right. Okay, we got we got there in the end. Okay, so this is the hair. Okay, love it. So on to the outfit. Okay, so this is the whole VB look. White tee, blue jeans, and heels. Now for the heels, hear me out here, these aren't lilac. She was wearing her brand new Spring Summer 18 lilac heels, which I think were also patent. Beautiful, but obviously not out yet until about March, April. So instead, seeing as it's this season and red is so big, instead I went for red to mix it up a bit and I love these shoes so much. These are just a really easy pair of red shoes. The way they kind of colour around the edge of the foot is so flattering. Honestly, I'm in love with these, so good choice, I think. Also, the jeans, she was wearing Levi's, vintage Levi's, which obviously I couldn't find because she probably got them in a thrift store or somewhere else. So these are the best that I think I could find. I wanted something that's kind of like a raw blue, raw hem on the very bottom, a little bit of a shorter length, but also more of a mom jean high waist style. And look at all the pictures that I've got of her, I kind of feel like they work really, really well. It really matches what she was wearing in terms of the colour, the fit, the shape, everything. So, and these are actually really, really affordable. I think they're like £35 at most. So yeah, these are really, really good dupe. And then the white t-shirt. I wanted something that looked good quality because hers looked like amazing quality. You couldn't see a bra underneath it, which always shows a really good white t-shirt. And I think this one works pretty well. She also had quite long sleeves on hers, which I think she'd rolled up. But they were around this length anyway. And I actually really love this length and the structure of the shoulders. Her t-shirt was also slightly oversized so I've gone up one size to a size small instead of a size XS so I wanted a little bit more of an oversized fit so they could tuck into the jeans pull out a little bit and just have that more boxy style. So I feel like this works really, really well for how she was dressed. So overall, I think I've done a pretty good job of piecing this together. I can't wait to see what you guys think. But overall, I love this outfit. I want to wear this now for the next few weeks, especially these heels I'm just in love with. Okay guys, that's it. What do you think of, first of all, the makeup look? Do you think I kind of got it? I feel like I'm pretty much, pretty much there with it, especially now I managed to get the lip a little more nude and then with the gloss. I'm so much happier with this now. Yeah, love this hair. I'm gonna be doing this hair a lot more. I think it's really sweet. How do you think I did with the outfit? I know I changed up the shoe colour because lilac. There's just nowhere to be seen right now. I know I changed up the colour of the heels, but that's because I thought I'd make it more appropriate for now and red is just everything I'm about right now. So I really hope you enjoy this look guys. If you did enjoy it, I would love it if you would subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Just click the picture of my face right here and that will help subscribe you to my channel. I make three videos a week and I'd love to have you back. And yeah, just thank you so much for watching guys. Hope you liked it. Make sure you leave me a comment and let me know what you thought and I'll see you soon. Bye! Mwah.